All right, in the second part of the lab, we're actually going to be using the same data here, the same force vectors, to find what's called the graphical resultant. Um, and so we're going to add these two force vectors visually um, to determine that resultant. And I've already actually done it on this paper here. What are we going to do? We're going to have our forces, so let's look at the first one together here, 100 grams uh, and zero degrees. Now, we're always going to treat... Uh, zero degrees to be just to your right, and so 90 degrees would be like this, 180, etc. <clears throat> and so we know what direction it is. Now the 100 grams, the lab says to, we're going to convert that to centimeters uh, t with a 10 to 1. So 100 grams will be 10 centimeters long. The arrow will be 10 centimeters long. And so that first arrow is going to look something like this here. Uh, force vector 1. It's 10 centimeters long and it's pointing at 0 degrees to the right. Now, I want to add the second vector, uh, which is also going to be 10 centimeters long and it's at an angle of 120. And so using my protractor here, I was able to determine 120 degrees is up like that and I'm also going to make that 10 centimeters long. I add force vector 1, I add to force vector 2, and now and I've already drawn it in here, but the resultant vector. The resultant vector starts where we started the addition. It ends where the uh, vectors, the addition ends. And so here it is. There's our resultant vector. It's labeled. And all we need to do here is we want to find out the direction of the resultant by measuring this angle. All right, if we've got that angle, we've got the direction. And also by measuring the length in centimeters. And again, once we've got the length in centimeters, we're going to convert that to grams. <clears throat> and so in, the, in this column here, uh, we'll also have a number of grams and a direction of this resultant vector.